morning everybody and welcome back to fitness and food content i missed it um so today i am going to bring you through my food for the day on a training day um i'm going to train in a little while as you can see and my training session today is glutes and hammies so yeah i'm going to chat a little bit about my training split my kind of current nutrition, my goals over the next few months, my new coach, my progress so far. It is a it is a proper update vlog. So I'm just gonna run you through my brekkie and this I either have this or overnight wheat and bricks. Um, it's just Greek yogurt, granola and then some fruit. So when my calories were lower I was having stuff like watermelon and um uh, mango and stuff now i've kind of switched to apples and bananas because they're a little bit higher in carbs and then i've remembered cinnamon today i have never in my life remembered cinnamon before <laughs> so yeah this is what i have pre-workout for my brekkie um on training days and i actually forgot to make overnight wheat bricks last night so that's why i'm having this this morning <laughs> i'll uh i'll show you the finished product <laughs> Brekkie, chopped fruit, granola, and yogurt. It is way too hot here to be having hot brekkies. Um, yeah, you just you just couldn't be having oats or anything like that. Um, and I just find this digests really well, and I have really good sessions with it. So try it out. So I just come out for my 10 15 minutes of peace out at the pool in the mornings um nice chill way to start the day i'm gonna eat this and then i have a um a consult call and then i have a call with someone i'm not going to speak about yet basically a developer for um an app but i'm exploring some options and different developers in the next while just to try and get my own boss bodies coaching app developed um, which is exciting so it is going to be a big year for the boss body squad i'm very excited about this week we have um sourced and finalized designs for the new merch um so very happy with that and the girls are very excited and now it is time to look on the app front Right, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna look at the water and um I will chat to you before my session. So just about to go out to the gym. I have my pre-workout here. Um this is the one I have at the moment. It's the Naughty Boy Menace. So Gary's mum actually brought us over these. I ordered from Body First and she brought them over here because the pre-workout selection is basically C4. <laughs> so there is no selection um, and it's pretty good. We had this and we had the Anova Farm Pre as well. It was like, I used that one on my upper body days. It was really good pump formula in it. So this is what I'm using now for my leg session. And I'm gonna bring you through my current, one of my current glutes and hammies uh, sessions. That is a big focus over the next few months is to bring up this lower half. So let's go.
20, 30 minutes then on the epi epileptical machine. I don't even know how to say that. Um, just since I got bitten by the dog, the treadmill is a little bit hard to go for that long because it can just rub off my um, ankle. So I'm waiting on that to heal before I can do full sessions on that. Um, this is purely just to get my steps in. It's a little bit hard to get the 12K mark unless you're doing some indoor cardio here because there is no footpaths and people literally harass you if you go for a walk with uh, taxi offers. It's just not a done thing here. It's so strange. Um, but cardio wise, I was doing four to five sessions a week for the last six weeks while I was um, doing my mini cut tidy up. And now I've just dropped that down to two 20 minute sessions on the spin bike per week. And I do that on Thursday, my rest day, and Tuesday, which is another upper body day. Um, and I actually don't mind it now. I hated it at the start, but you know, we all know there are benefits to cardio. <laughs> and we should probably do a little bit more of bodybuilders. Hate to do it on our off season. Um, but there's a little bit being kept in and I'm not mad. So today, as I said, glutes and hammies. I also have abs. So I'm training them three times a week now, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, um, just to make sure I have a nice tight core next time I'm on stage. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish these steps off and then let's train the legs.
case you didn't know, this is the new way to wear your mask. <laughs> oh, I just wrapped up my uh, leg session. <sighs> and now I am on the way to get food. I'm so hungry. Um, I'm gonna bring you through my go-to post-workout meal. Um, we always just go to Tony's. It's a little high place across the road and it's super duper cheap. Food is good and because we are, we've ordered it in a, a good few times so we know the weights and stuff, um, which is really handy for logging it and tracking it. So we are in Tony's. I have just devoured my pulver again, coconut. Um, it's very good for rehydration, lots of electrolytes. Um, so this is every day, every day. And then I'm gonna bring you through my meal. I have the same thing, post workout, easy to track, digest well, tastes good. <laughs> um, and now I can speak chicken, rice, and green. I'll give you a little better look. So we have our coconut. Then we have some barbecued uh, chicken. It just has some like garlic and pepper on it. It's about 170 grams. Then I have 180 grams of rice or a cup of rice cooked. And then this is morning glory. This, <laughs> I know it doesn't look so special, but lads, it is unreal. There's no oil, it's not cooked in oil. So I don't know how they make it taste so nice. It's chili and garlic and it's just so good. It's kind of like, green beans and spinach mixed together, but it is only actually one vegetable. If you saw my cooking class uh, vlog, I showed it in the market. So definitely watch that if you haven't. Then eat this and then head home and get some work done. So just finished my post-workout meal in Tony's. Got my little scooter, it's pink, obviously, cute. Um, yeah, I never eat chicken and rice at home, but it's, honestly, it's just the way they cook it here on the barbecue. It's so delicious. Um, so it tastes good. I've no problem eating it. I'm um, just going to go home now and have a little iced coffee with Gary. They are a kryptonite, honestly. So good. I'll be so sad leaving them. Um, but yeah, anyone might recognize this or may not recognize this. This is Titan where we train. It's on the fitness street here in Chilong in Phuket, Soi Taid. Um, so people will probably have heard of that. Um, it's kind of just the area that everyone comes to train um, and we love it. So home, showered, uh, still look homeless and coffees are on the way. Our usual spot is closed. Um, it's all this risky business trying a new place, but there you have it. Um, so I'm just going to talk about my kind of current setup now. Um, and you know, like what I am doing training wise, food wise, what the goals are, all that kind of stuff. So I have mentioned that I will be moving from bikini to figure in my next um, bodybuilding competition, which is very exciting. Um, I absolutely adore the figure girls. I have a fucking mountain to climb because they are jacked, but I'm very ready and very excited for the challenge. Um, kind of actually signed up with a coach back at Christmas, um, Meg Alicia Sylvester. So a lot of you might follow herself or Kuba um, from MK Elite. Um, I'll drop their little YouTube thing here. Um, and so far, so good. Like really, really happy with everything. Uh, training is sick. Um, really enjoying the sessions. So I have six sessions. Um, which works out a two up or a two lower a week with two rest days. Uh, so two leg sessions, two glutes and hammies, and then two upper sessions. And then there's just a little bit of a rotation in what order they go in. So yeah, really enjoying that. And so far so good in results wise, like very happy. We did a little tidy up for six weeks and um, brought calories down, added cardio in just to strip off some excess body fat that was there over the, uh, after the last few months. Um, and I'll, I'll pop some little comparisons over here uh, so you can see, but 
really really happy and um, I've also started with a posing coach Rhea Gale she is so so fab um she competes at the Olympia so I just kind of said to myself look if you want to do it just go to you know people who inspire you and people that you look up to which I have um looked up to the two girls for a very long time and just think they're incredible their work ethic their results everything like that um and yeah I'm really enjoying that so far the differences with my food compared to maybe like what I would have shown in Australia and back in Ireland, definitely less treats. So this is more, it's definitely more strict. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Um, but you know what? I'm not mad about it. I feel really good. Um, and I just, not that I was having loads of treats anyway, but I'm, I'm glad I cleaned it up a bit. I'll put it that way. Um, and like, I kind of just really appreciate when I have something then and I'm really able to enjoy it rather than trying to fit them in every day. Um, so still, I can't say I if I am like still flexible ish as in, you know, like I'm not completely banning certain foods, but, um, just definitely kind of a more whole food cleaner approach overall. Um, and I'm feeling really good on that. So that is kind of where I'm at right now. And that's, you know, what everything is looking like calorie wise. Thank God calories are gone back up after the mini cut. <laughs> so I'm back up to two and a half thousand on training days, which is today, which is what you guys are seeing it. And then lower on rest days. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to pushing food and calories up. Um, a little bit nervous but also very excited like it's been a goal of mine for ages to eat 3000 calories and like I know I will get up there and probably over it definitely um and I just I just I I think for a little while like my mindset and my mentality and mental health and stuff was a little bit like oh just right just get through it just get through it but now I'm back like motivated inspired and ready to just just do it so it's gonna be a great few months I'm gonna uh, run downstairs because I think our coffee has arrived so we're back and of course I've just eaten my meal and totally forgot I was meant to show it to you but I had the same meal yesterday like any good uh, meal prep person would so <laughs> I'll um, insert a little uh, pick here was just noodles and uh, chicken and tofu with some veggies, made it at home. It was fine, it'll be better next time. Um, yeah, so that was my my afternoon meal. I can't, I guess my post-workout is my lunch, but it's like meal two, it's post-workout. I don't know, I don't really have a lunch, I guess. You can't, I don't know. Anyway, that was my afternoon meal afternoon meal. I'm going to do a bit of work now. I have some of my um, coaching videos to watch and I just had a Zoom call with my coach and the rest of the girls. So that was good. We talked about motivation um, and kind of staying disciplined and that type of stuff. So that was a great little boost. Really enjoy those calls. Um, that's that's us we are gonna go for our Saturday treat today oh my god I'm so excited about this because it, it like we haven't tried this place since we got here because the flavors have been shit and I actually mailed them I was like hey how you doing could you please bring back Snickers <laughs> We are going from for Nami frozen yogurt and they have a protein Snickers froyo today so it's just meant to be. So I say treat, but you know, still kind of healthy. Um, but very much enjoying eating like this at the moment. So I'll take you along and, and show you what we have. So another block of work done for the two of us. We are in such a procrastinating mood this week, aren't we? No, like we've been like bribing each other with episodes and okay, let's do this amount of work and then we can watch something. Oh my God. <laughs> so. We just got a, a good block of stuff done um, and I have 
ticked off stuff I've been, you know, putting on the long finger, so that's fine. Now we are going to go and get a treat. Yes, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we have protein stickers for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like the poo emoji. <laughs> So just back from Froyo and I have a few thousand steps left to do, but the sky has turned mean and it has started. There's a big like thunderstorm coming. The lightning has started and little droplets of rain. It's literally glowing. You can't even see it properly here, but anyway, definitely not going on my usual uh, evening walk. So I'm just gonna do laps of our little block until uh, until the heavens open. So it is time for my last meal. Um, and same as always, we always have oats um, as a pre-bed meal. So tip, tip, if you do not soak your oats for even 15 minutes, but I'd say 30, it makes them so much more creamy. Try it. Just try it. Um, and then this is the protein we are using at the moment. It's the ISO um, whey from Diamond Oz. Really nice. Uh, not a great selection over here, but that's actually the one Gary uses in Perth as well. Now, but with some powdered peanut butter. And then I am having some of the Baked by Casey CBD Chucky. So the last little bit of toppings is raspberry. Honestly, just obsessed. So I have some raspberries mixed in. It's a little bit less chalky today because my fats are a bit low. But um, yeah, this is just the best combo. Peanut butter, chocolate, raspberries. What more do you want? Yum. Super creamy. So that is my full day of training eats wrapped up thank you for watching make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons down here and um, and any questions you do have about anything just drop a comment and i will get back to you let me know um if you've enjoyed the video what you'd like to see on the next one if you want me to talk about anything in particular on next month's little progress update and i will see you all next week for a brand new vlog i'm just very proud